I think it was more Powell than, than the jobs. And some of the underlying jobs numbers, the, the wage increases and the fact that a lot of people were looking for work. And you can see that in the um, unemployment number went up, ticked up a couple of tenths. But that's because um, more people are looking more for people work. are looking, which, a which is that's a weird exactly way. Yeah. What I'm saying, which is it's not a weird way. It's, it's a positive. The market's better. More people are coming out there. So puts a little bit of pressure, healthy pressure on the on the jobs number. But it's all about power. We've been saying the Fed's been the, the biggest risk to the market and the economy for, for months now. And you, you have highlighted, Jeff, as well or better than anybody about the seasonality mm -hmm. of the market. All these historical stats, which is what you do best mm -hmm. about how, you know, we're in the mid-year of a cycle and the third quarter of this and then all the things. Santa Claus. Hey, Santa Claus, the whole, whatever you want to call it, mm -hmm. and it hasn't worked out yet. Do you think that we're maybe just lagging, that we I are going to get lag. a little I think rally? The, the tax cuts uh, pushed the you know, usual midterm correction a little bit later in the year. Uh, we saw it come in December. Usually we see a lot of bottoms in October or earlier in the summer. And I think that sets up nicely for the pre-election year. If we hadn't had a correction, that would make uh, uh, the third year of the cycle, the pre-election year, this, this you know, 2019 uh, uh, gains a little bit tougher in that year. So I think that helps. Uh, Santa came through uh, the last five days of the year, first two of the new year. There were some, some rough days in there, but overall, the market was up, uh, you know, a little bit, uh, percent and change. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's starting to look positive, but we're, we're taking our time. We've got the first five days coming up, the whole month of January. We need to get the shutdown cleaned up. Um, we need to, I mean, thinking about the numbers that that wall they're disputing, I mean, $5.6 billion is... Now they're calling it a barrier. But you bring up a it's, good point. It's a, such an infinitesimal number compared to the federal budget. It, it, it's it's like, less, well, it's I think it's a, symbolic. It is from a number perspective, it's about half of one day's operating revenue or yeah. expenses for the U.S. government. But it is more symbolic, Correct. I think. It's symbolic of the fight. The government shut down now entering its third week. At what point does it matter for the macro markets? It matters for a lot of government workers, but when does I it matter for the markets? I think it's starting to matter. I think we're going to see something happen over the next week or so. Uh, they have to. It's, it's, it's a black eye for the president. It's a black eye for the Democrats to keep this thing closed down. Garbage is piling up in the national parks. Never like to hear that. Big fan of the national parks. But um, it's, it's, it's taking its toll right now. It needs to get fixed. And uh, China's starting to come to the table. Uh, that's been going on for a while. We need some more positive results there, some more market gains. But you um, remain reasonably optimistic in the short term? Um, you know, we, we look at things three case scenario, worst, best, worst base and best case. You know, if they don't if they don't get their act together, we could still be going down further. I mean, if we start to get uh, the a president must know this, though, he's a stock market. president. Of course he is. He's watching. The he stock. references it constantly. He is. He probably has a stock traders almanac in the White House.